Okay, this video is an explanation and demonstration of the theta breath. Now the theta breath is one of my favorite breaths because it is so versatile and can help you in so many different ways. It's very easy to do and the main thing that the theta breath does is it helps to spread and open and create space. So if you're feeling really tight and compressed and tense, it creates a spaciousness. It helps to loosen up your muscles and relax. If you feel any kind of compression, the theta breath is gonna decompress really, really easily. Now the reason we call it the theta breath is because it's kind of like a TH sound and uh, I'm just going to demonstrate it because that's the easiest way for you to see. So it's like you're going to go th, like a th, but you don't quite do it. Your tongue stays behind your teeth and the sound comes out sort of like a hiss. Um, I say it sounds like a snake with a lisp because it's a th, not a th. Okay, so it, it sounds like this. So what I'm doing, I'm inhaling through my nose, exhaling, my tongue is behind my teeth, and I'm just... doing the theta as long as it's comfortable to exhale. So you don't have to try to push it or force anything. You don't have to do a theta sound on every breath. So if you want to take some slow relaxing breaths in between the sounds, that's perfectly fine. The reason we call it a theta besides the fact that it's a TH sound is that it's, it's like a spreading. Like if you do the theta, and hold your hand up in front of your mouth, you'll feel that the air kind of spreads like this. Okay, and that's exactly the effect the theta breath has on the tissues of your body, both your skin, your muscles, and your internal organs. So whenever anything feels tight and, and tense, a theta breath applied is really wonderful. Remember, you start with your open attention baseline, just breathing and noticing whatever happens to be in your field of awareness. Do the breath for five or six times, whatever position, body, part, intention, whatever. It's very versatile. And then go back to your open attention. When you go back to your open attention, you allow your body to move any way that it wants to move. So you may feel an impulse to start unwinding or spiraling. You may just notice deep internal movements like gurgling of your stomach or little muscle flutters or twitches. Sometimes thoughts will pop into your head. Whatever happens is perfectly fine. You just wanna notice it and you just wanna allow yourself to receive. If you have time, the effect is amplified if you can layer it several times. So once you've spent a little bit of your time in open attention, then you go back to another round of the thetas. And then open attention, another round of thetas. Three times the charm. So if you can do three rounds, you're going to really notice a shift, not only in your body, but in your mind, your emotions, your entire relationship to the world around you.